The goal of this project is to buy a cheap guitar and turn it into something that sounds and plays as well as an American Strat for less than it would cost to buy a secondhand Mexican Strat. I started with a Squire Affinity Strat that needed a bit of cleaning and setup. I like that guitar. It had a really good natural tone and a nice feel to the neck. Unfortunately, the neck was a tenth of an inch narrower than a standard neck. And with my really large hands, that was a problem, especially switching back to other guitars after playing that. I then bought a Squire Strat SE that comes with the start playing kit. Um, it actually had a cheaper wood bar body than the um, Affinity Strat. Uh, it had an Agathus body instead of um, an Alder body. Didn't sound as good straight out of the box, but it had a full width neck. Um, the idea there was that I would switch the neck with the Affinity Strat and keep the Alder body with the Affinity Strat. That didn't work out very well because uh, one guitar was made in Indonesia, the Affinity Strat, and the other um, SE was made in China, and the neck pockets weren't really identical. They, they didn't match up very well. I decided then to keep the Squire SE and see if I could improve the tone by setting the neck. After a little more research, I determined that setting the neck with a tenon or a dovetail wasn't very practical. A better option would be to glass or epoxy bed the neck into the body like a gunsmith would do to the barrel of a rifle. In theory, having a solid contact between the neck and the body would make it act more like a single piece of wood and improve the tone. For now, this series of videos will cover the reconstruction of a Squire Strat SE. I'll do some light finish touch-up to improve the feel of the neck. I'm then going to epoxy bed the neck of the guitar into the body and see if that improves tone. I'll shield the body cavity, and I'll replace the electronics and pickups and do some custom wiring. When we're done, we should have a really nice sounding guitar.